Good morning. Welcome. What is today? Thursday, March 9th. Please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill, please don't spill. Oh, thank you for not spilling. We're running a little bit late today. I've got a killer headache, so I took my time. Anybody want to buy an uh, older uh, dining room table? It has a leaf, six chairs, it's taller. I need it out of here so I can park in the garage. Oh, come on, my keys are inside. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Most of you know by now, the cat is out of the bag. Yes. I'm working on a plastic yo-yo. Yes, it's the ghost. Yes, it is shaped very similar to the Banshee. Similar uh, shape design, but plastic. I'm not gonna say what type of plastic it is yet. Don't worry, it's something fresh, it's of the highest quality. Something that hasn't been done. You know how we do it, G2. We never do anything fast. We make sure we do it right. So I'm doing something extra awesome, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I tested the Proto a lot last night, and there's a couple things that I wanna make some slight changes to, and then we'll, we'll try it all over again. But, just so you guys know, we are working on it. Um, it'll get released eventually. I don't know if it'll be part of my case files series, which I haven't really told you guys about. I'll tell you guys about that later. Or if it'll be a yo-yo all by itself. <sighs> I don't know if it'll be the plastic that I'm prototyping out of, just because if that doesn't work out, uh, I can always switch it up, do a polycarp, do a dalrin, no problem. Those are, those are easily done in yo-yos and play well. Uh, I just wanted to try something a little bit different. And kind of stand out from the pack, you know. That's how we do. Oh, I gotta put the seatbelt on. There was something else I wanted to do. Oh, I gotta check my phone real quick. Do not do this at home. Yes, we did it. 1765. We have hit the 1750 subscriber mark. I'll figure out a way to give away a yo-yo. Will it be in this video? Maybe. I'll be brainstorming today at work what I wanna do. Other things on the agenda after the normal eight to five boring cubicle job. That's why I work so hard at G2, I think. I don't know if I want G2 to turn into my job or if I just want a job that I get to do more, be creative, do things that are, are more interesting than uh, with accounting. I do the exact same thing every month. Boom, month turns over, close the month out, do it all again. And it, 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 it's it's a drag, it's, it's, it's getting to me. I don't know if I, how much longer I want to do it. So, but like I said, I don't know if I have, so maybe that's why I work so hard at G2. Maybe that is what I wanna do as a job. I don't know, I don't know. It seems cool, but then also I know it's yo-yo, so it's, it's gonna be a lot of work to actually to make enough money selling yo-yos to provide for a family. Might be impossible. Nah, it's not impossible, people do it, but um, I don't know. Something down the future we can always always strive for if we do decide that is what we wanna do. But I think I would like having a business, it doesn't have to be yo-yo related, like I said, where I can be creative, brainstorm, do different processes. You actually see results the more work you put in most of the time, uh, the more work you're gonna be rewarded because you are directly in charge, right? All right, I'm gonna go to work. Hopefully you guys are out there chasing your dreams if you know what they are. Work harder for it every day. Hopefully I can do a little bit to inspire you to do that. I'll pick you guys up at lunchtime or after work when we hopefully take some pictures of the amazing, amazing custom wolves. They turned out so good. I can't wait to show you guys. Huh. Come on, there we go. All right, we made it home. I got no idea what this box is. So we're going to find out together. I don't remember ordering anything. I don't remember, yeah, I got nothing. I got no idea what this could be. And then our plans for the rest of the evening. Sorry. I want 
to get the custom wolves assembled and photos taken. I don't necessarily have to test them tonight. Uh, silicone might still be, let's see, no, it's been about 24 hours, it should be fine. But I just want to make sure I can at least get photos. Oh! <laughs> That's disappointing. I was hoping I forgot I ordered something cooler than this. I was out of silicone, as you guys will see. Um, so I ordered a 12-pack. That's what we've got. So now, wipe the excess silicone off these custom wolves. They turned out great. I can't wait to show you guys the photos. Um, like fantastic. It's still, it's kind of dark outside, like um, overcasty. So I'm not sure how the photos will turn out uh, since it's late and overcasty. But if they turn out good, I'll probably end up showing you guys in here. Then I'll be posting them on Instagram and Facebook over time. The way I usually do it. Um, what did I want? Oh, 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 yes, yes. A good topic of conversation I would like to talk about today. And that has to do with sponsorship, because I kind of get asked this a lot, is are you sponsoring people? Um, how can I get on the team? Those type of questions. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always looking for good, motivated, That's disappointing, that was dropped before anodizing. That's why I take the time and do every single one of these myself to try and keep the quality control as high as possible. If I could take the time and anodize every single yo-yo, I would. <clears throat> um, all right, so what, what a lot of people ask me, how can I get sponsored? Are you sponsoring? Why isn't your team growing? Well, they don't really ask that. Um, they'll ask me, do I, am I still sponsoring, open to sponsoring more players? And yes, I'm always looking for motivated, talented players in whatever aspect. Um, but I'm mostly looking for motivated content creators at this point in time that are, are motivated and they are building themselves up as a brand. Um, <clears throat> so like a good example right now is Nate does the reviews and he is a sponsored player for me because he does a lot of local stuff. He does gigs, he does runs a club. He does a lot of things that you don't see necessarily that just a, a player that does contest does. Um, so he's a, he's a good example. And he's doing these reviews. Now that's not necessarily G2 related, but that is promoting himself, building himself out as an ind individual brand in a way. And with that, he's also motivated for G2 to grow along with him. And it, it gives us an extra outlet to try and have G2 expand throughout. And um, so that's just a good example of motivated content um, that I'm looking for to expand the team into. Like Ryan Johnson. Um, his main thing that he does right now as a team member is with my graphics. And he does an incredible, incredible job at that. He's mostly mostly self-motivated. He comes up with most of the design ideas. Uh, I don't always have a direction for a design that I give him. And he does an amazing job on getting something that personalizes and sticks with our brand image. So that's just, just kind of... Um, what I what I have to say about sponsorship if you if you are not active at all you sit in your room and in yo-yo for hours and you win the next three contests you might get sponsored but it wouldn't be by me um, I want people that are out in the community expanding yo-yo that type of thing trying to build their own personal brand which that can happen through contests big time. That is the biggest jump start to building your own brand is winning contests. But you have to be outgoing, making friends, going to clubs, posting on social media, engaging with the community, and because you really want to too, not just because, hey, I think this is a way that I can get sponsored. 
because sponsorship is not is not the end all be all for you as a player. You should have individual goals, which is the second part of this idea. You should have these individual goals that you want some help from me to achieve. Whether it's, hey, I love competing, but I can't get to Cal States, and a sponsor would really help me be able to travel that. So that's, that's the kind of thing that I need laid out to sponsor somebody, is their individual goals that they have placed for themselves. Whether it's, whatever, win nationals, but you need help traveling to contest to practice. That type of thing is where I can step in and have something to actually help you with. <sighs> Enough talking. These wolves are looking fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and take the photos, hopefully. And then we'll be back in here. I do have... I'm just going to ask you right now. I'm looking for somebody to help me with a design. Ryan is swamped. He's working on a case file design. He's working on a prototype box design. He's working on the pelican design. He's working on the ghost design. He has all of these designs that he is working on logos and boxing for. So I want a inspiration for the imagination G squared yo-yo's mug. So if you want to help me with that logo, shoot me an email, maybe with your past work that that you can give me an idea for. I don't really have a good direction on where I want to go with this, um, but I want it. It doesn't have to include the G2 logo. It could be G2 logo on one side of the mug. Inspiration for the imagination can be its own logo, or it can incorporate um, the G2 logo somehow. So I'm looking for somebody to help me out with that. If somebody wants to help take the load off of Ryan for all the graphic design, I'm definitely interested in, in looking to expand in that direction. So that might be a quick foot on getting getting sponsored if that's your forte you're a yo-yo player and you really like doing graphic stuff because it, it always helps to have an extra pair of hands doing graphics even if it's just um in the end you end up helping with photos as far as throwing logos on them and that and advertising them and and word marks and that kind of thing that's always something i'm looking forward to expand <clears throat> Because when you're on G2, you're you're in here. You're helping the brand grow. Usually, I prefer it if you're more than just a just a player, as they would say. You're ingrained in this family somehow. I wonder if you guys are tired of me talking yet. Let's go take these photos. Yes. Since we have these custom wolves, that does mean we will have some wolves here soon. Believe we will have the Snozberry Swirl releasing first. So that's exciting. It looks really, really good. Oh, really, really good. Oh, look who it is. It's our very own G2 Wolf. What's up, buddy? We d oh, I gotta get a coat. It's cold. You want your coat? No, thank you. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Wow, today was a lot of talking. I know it and I haven't even started editing. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'll make it up to you. I'll film a vlog tomorrow. How's that sound? Come on. Come on. Is that good? Anyways, guys, if you're watching this and you have a Kraken prototype that yo-yo that I worked on with Yo-Yo Workshop um, like a year ago and we haven't done anything with it, I don't know if we're going to. I'm missing some, and I can't remember what I did with them. If you have any idea, let me know. Um, I just, they're gone. I don't, I don't know what happened to them. I found a couple of them, but I'm missing a few, so I cannot, I can't, I can't locate them. So I'm just trying to figure out where they're at, um, just for a project we might do with those, or might do with the full project, but I gotta find these protos first. So if I somehow sent you one, uh, if I traded you one, if I sold you one, if I sent you one for promotion purposes, just let me know you have it so I know where it's at. Uh, I really don't think I sold any, though, and I have no idea where they're at. 
just no idea. They're just completely gone. So what I'm going to do now for the rest of the night, I'm going to hit up a motivational video, go hop on the treadmill. Yeah, the motivational video. It gets you, gets you rolling. Come on. Nothing gets you hype like a good motivational the video. The in the room is always going to be the talented guy who doesn't work hard. In the end, maybe not every time, but in the end, hard work always wins. That's right. That's what I tell you guys every day. Grind on. Hard work wins. Doesn't that get you pumped up, fired up, ready to get some work done? We're going to go do some work on the treadmill. We have some yo-yo work to do. We got to edit the vlog. We have so much stuff to do. Again, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to be giving away that Elite real soon since we have that 1750. Uh, I love the feedback we have so far on the Ghost. Um, I'm not really saying much about it. Um, I've decided I'm going to make an adjustment to those spacers on the prototypes. And then eventually we'll be selling these prototypes. First, I want to see what I can fix with the spacers. And then I might do a little bit of weight distribution change. As much as you can do with plastic, it's really hard without a weight ring to get it um, super rim weighted. But I want it to play like a plastic still. I don't want it to be too competition oriented, but still um, good. Anyways, that's going to do it. I think I, th I feel like we're going to bust 20 minutes today and I'm going to feel bad. No, I'm not. You guys are having fun. I'm having fun. Thank you guys for joining me. I love you all. G2 Nation, I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place, since we're doing that Friday vlog.